Hey guys, it's me again. Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome to or back to my channel. As you saw by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take my own Instagram photos when I don't have a friend or family to take them for me. So you're going to need three things. One, a tripod of some sort, or you can, you know, like balance your phone somewhere if you want to get crafty, but it's usually easiest with a tripod. This one, I'm pretty sure my dad gave it to me, or I got it from a thrift store, I don't know, but it can be this this small or it can extend to as tall as it is now. So I definitely recommend a tripod. I use that for my camera and my phone but if it's just your phone you can get a pretty cheap light one. Then I have this little connector. The brand is Itoten. I'm pretty sure I just got this on Amazon. Just read the reviews, see what works for you. This little piece screws in so it can go bigger or narrower depending on how wide your phone is. So I just have that little adapter, I stick it on here, and then my phone is ready to shoot. So the third item, of course, is your phone. And I use the app Lens Buddy just because it makes it a lot easier to take your own photos, but you could always just use a timer if you don't want to get an app. But I definitely recommend Lens Buddy. Basically, you can set how often you want the photos to take. I usually just set it for every second it'll take a photo, so I just kind of move around and try to act natural and then usually the photos come out good. I found throughout the years that I like the photos where I'm just like moving and I look kind of candid. Like I don't want to just be standing there like, cheese. I want to be moving around and just have it look natural. That just gives you a lot of options if you just keep moving. So those are the three items. Phone, tripod, an adapter. Next we're gonna need a cute outfit. Thanks to Curtsy we have that ready. So if you guys know me you know that I love thrifting. Definitely one of my big hobbies I would say. I grew up with thrifting. My mom has been volunteering at a thrift store since I was four years old so I've been doing it since then and I love it and I recommend it to everyone. Definitely helps you know save the planet. Buy things that other people are sick of you might love or might not fit them. But fits you perfect you know. But I don't always have, you know, two, three hours out of my day to go to a thrift store. So that's when Curtsy comes in. They have an app where you can buy and sell your clothes. You can search by brand, you can search by what item you're looking for, by size, all of that, which made it really easy for me to find a lot of pieces. They were nice enough to give me a little gift card and I picked out a few items from their app. So I got five tops because, I don't know, I feel like I was lacking in the cute top department. And by the time you're watching this, I'm going to Italy in about a week, so needed some cute little tops to wear there. So haul time. The first item is this beautiful little corset style tank top. The brand is Princess Polly. It's in like perfect condition. I love the color and the print and like the fabric to it. I don't have anything like this, nor do I have anything this color. And I actually have never gotten anything from Princess Polly, so this was a great way to try it for cheaper to see if see if I like their stuff. I got it for $36 and it retails for $50. The next top I got is this super cute little gray tie front tank top. The brand is Free People. Just thought it was super pretty and a nice little kind of basic that can match with a lot of different bottoms. The retail price was $58 and I got it for $17. We love a good steal. The third top I got is this beautiful lace long sleeve. I don't know why it just gave me like country vibes. The back is like sheer lace and then the front is not so you're not flashing anyone. The brand is Windsor which I've never shopped from before either. I just love it. It looks really cute with like jean shorts and cowboy boots and it was originally $25 and I got it for $14. The fourth item I got is this pink halter lace up little crop top. This is also from Princess Polly. They have a lot of Princess Polly on the app I noticed and I do not have anything pink. I thought this was such a cute color it'll be great for like going out in Italy and this was originally $40 and I got it for $13. The last item I got is actually this shirt that I'm wearing right now. I saw it and it gave me like I don't know, European vibes. I just thought it was so pretty. The brand is actually called Runaway. It's an Australian brand, so you know how to buy it. Um, I've never heard of the brand before, but it was literally brand new. Tags were still on. It 
retails for $50, but I got it for $19, so that is amazing. And we love her. So thank you so much, Courtesy, for all the cute items. I can't wait to bring a bunch of them to Italy. You guys should definitely go download Courtesy and shop on the app. It's literally perfect for when you want to buy secondhand, but can't leave your house or don't want to leave your house. And if you guys want a discount, you can use Evans15 for 15% 15 off your order. So go download Curtsy and let's go try to take some fire cell timer photos. I don't know how this is going to go because I'm pretty sure it's raining and dark out. Let's go take some photos. Hopefully you guys can hear me. There's uh, people gardening somewhere in the neighborhood. Okay, usually I would go somewhere to take the photos, but right now I'm in my yard because it was raining and I felt like a parking garage wasn't the vibe for this outfit. And I was looking at my window, I saw these like very pretty pink flowers, which I think almost matched the shirt perfectly. So we're gonna try to take some pictures of my yard. I definitely recommend parking garages for photos. For some reason, the lighting just like pops off there. My friend Lorena and I took a bunch there a few months ago and they came out really good. I've taken photos at a doctor's office just because I had a white wall. I took these myself with a tripod. And I have taken photos in my yard once before and they came out pretty cute too. So let's attempt to do these photos. If you are a beginner, I recommend using Lens Buddy and putting your screen so that it faces you so you can just see like what the camera is seeing. You can pose. For me, I like to turn it the other way just because the quality is better. But I've had to like redo photos three, four times because I can't see what I'm doing. So sometimes I won't even be in the frame but you can definitely put something like on the ground or just like look at whatever's in the background and stand right in front of that to help you out remember where to stand. Let's see if we can get some photos. So I'm gonna stand like right here and the whole back is pink behind me and it looks really pretty, but I'm thinking I need to go like a little lower maybe so I literally might just have to like stand like that. During these self-timer photos, I definitely look dumb and I used to be too scared to do these in public, but then I realized, why am I gonna let a stranger, somebody I don't know, probably will never see again, why am I gonna let them stop me from getting cute photos or like doing something that I enjoy? So, go take your photos, have no shame. Nobody really cares, honestly. If anything, they're staring at you because you look cute, not because you're weird. That's my advice. So I just lowered that so I can get like more of the pink in the background. Oh, I think it looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna like kind of set this up so you can't see the ground. Try to just like make sure that it's straight. Do you guys hear the birds out here? They're going off. <laughs> I'm looking at the settings on Lens Buddy, and one of the options is you can set it to give you compliments while you're taking the photos. So we're gonna try that. So I'm setting it to just go on forever until I come and stop it, and it's going to take one photo every second. So I don't know how low I should be. Your potential is limitless. <laughs> Your smile makes me smile. Okay, maybe this is a little too much series. Your me beauty up. makes me crash. You're amazing. True. Oh, my knees. My knees are broken. So now we're gonna go and look at them and do it probably a few times because I'm spastic and I'm usually not in the frame. Okay, some of those have potential. I'm weird and I like most of the ones that I'm like not looking at the camera. I don't know why. Like I'll usually look sideways for photos. I'm gonna raise it a bit because I feel like it would be easier to pose if I was standing and my knees and toes hurt. Try it again. Like I need to go lower. The trick is to just move around. This looks insane right now, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My knees. We're gonna try just normal standing ones. My pants are too big. I'll do, you know, a few rounds of that. I like to have a lot of options because then it's more likely that I'll at least like one of them. But I think this looks so pretty with this background and the birds. They sound lovely. That's kind of how I take my photos. I definitely like to do more of these if you guys want and possibly one like 
how I edit my photos if you guys want to see that let me know because I'd be happy to film that but thank you again to Curtsy for sponsoring this video hope you guys enjoyed go out there go take your Instagram photos go pop off don't let anybody's stares or fear of getting stared at stop you because who cares you don't even know them and if you do and they're gonna hate on you for doing something you like then they're not your friends they're not good people go pop off don't be shy I think we got some good photos Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. The next video is going to be a packing video, so get pumped for that. And I'll see you guys then, next Friday at 3 p.m. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Me and the birds will be waiting. Waiting for you to hit the subscribe button. I love you, King Julian. Bye!